Hello to all Pinturas Facil's friends. Today we are going to paint Christmas balls with a technique that I have called gold patchwork and I hope you stay with me to watch it. To paint this gold patchwork ball you'll need a foam ball already prepared so click here to watch the video. Also, you'll need some acrylic paint in red, green and gold, a flat brush and a liner too, and a little trick I'm going to show you using a pencil and a thread. The first thing to do will be to turn the thread around the ball to divide it in four areas, then to draw the lines with a pencil. Then, put the thread perpendicular to the lines we just draw to divide the areas in two, so you'll get eight small areas. Start painting every one of these areas. Start with green forest and take care of the borders. Then, paint the opposite side. Then, we'll paint the bottom with red and green intercalary. Apply many layers of paint to well cover the ball and let it dry between layers. You can use all these timeouts of working in series, lots of Christmas balls like this one. Paint the same way the bottom, you simply have to change the side colors to intercolor them so they won't be together. After painting with red and green and well covering the ball, you can start decorating with gold. Start making dots in one of the red areas using your brush stick. For next green area, I chose to make groups of three dots each using the same brush stick and some gold paint. So we'll make three little dots without adding more paint in between. You'll do dot one, two and three. And you'll see that the first dot is bigger, the second one is smaller and the third is the smallest. This happens because in the first dot, then in the second, we release much painting. So fill the area with these three dot groups. In the next green area, I chose to paint little stars. You simply have to paint them with a liner and gold paint. The next red area, I painted nice spirals that combine very well with the other designs. Next step will be to repeat the same designs to the bottom of the ball, but changing the locations so they are not together. With a little floating medium, brown paint and a diagonal brush, we're going to do a floating on the edge of each area. So we'll apply a kind of shadow to put some volume on the ball. So load a little amount of gold paint on your brush, release a little bit on a paper and apply light areas on the ball. This way your ball will shine. The ball is almost done. You just need to let it dry and apply two or three layers of varnish to protect it. After that you can hang it in your Christmas tree. I hope you enjoy making this Christmas ball with me. Subscribe to our channel to receive more painting projects like this and click a like if you like this video. See you soon. Bye!